It's number one on the list. The person that is the number one power ranked person today. And I am going to give it to Riho. She's the ah! first to move on in the women's eliminator tournament on the American side and had possibly her best match to date against someone who has been nearly unbeatable in AEW and the current NWA women's champion. And I dare say she has to be the favorite to win the whole thing. Person number two on the list on the power ranking, it's John Moxley. Was he the center of attention in the main event? No. Did he get beat up at the end? Yes. yes. But after all the dust settles, he gets to go back to his hotel room knowing that he has a shot at the AEW Heavyweight Championship of the World. And it's in a kind of match that plays right into his hands. And I have to believe that if it's an exploding death match, that makes him <laughs> the favorite to be the one to walk out of Revolution as the AEW World Champion. Person number three is going to be Serena D. Oh. She feels like one of the top champs of AEW, regardless of what her title has written on the front of it. She had the crowd chanting her name, which against Riho really means something. She couldn't have overcome that knee injury, but I still think she put on match the night. I think there was great back and forth, tons of near falls, and dare I say if her knee was 100%, we might be talking about a different person moving forward. Number four is the Young Bucks. They needed a strong defense here because they've kind of looked like chumps over the past month or two. But this match slapped. They look great. They get a bonus point for a title defense. I, I may have forgotten to mention that. I give a bonus point if you defend a title. But really? they get a bonus <laughs> point for the title defense. Uh, they probably would have been higher, but they got beat down right after the match. And they kind of got showed up by Proud and Powerful, if I'm honest. But they got a hard-fought win in the tag team division defended those titles and it was a fun match so they get number four <laughs> number five brian cage both sides oh. of this rivalry have felt like they ran out of things to say so what did brian cage do <laughs> he just picked up sting and power bombed the tar out of him all while wearing his gmsi shirt <laughs> He wasn't in a match, but it's probably been decades since the Stinger's been power bombed, and I'd say that may go down as a career highlight for this Wolverine. <laughs> Number six, I'm going Matt Hardy. He got a big win in the opening match. He did, uh, even though Hangman did all the real work, he kind of snuck in. He got the win. Now he may lose a lot of money once all said and done over at Revolution, but. He was able to get the hangman to risk his 2021 quarter one earnings and hangman didn't even have to so big money matt in my opinion <laughs> may have reversed some of his bad fortunes here and may have started moving in a positive direction it's number seven we're gonna give it to proud and powerful these guys were overdue for a title shot and i was blown away by the fact this was their first one they over delivered here though their tag team moves were non-stop, win, lose, or draw coming up. Uh, they were one of they're one of the best in the business. Number eight, Lance Archer. He tore through everyone in the main event. At one point, he was choking out two dudes and headbutting <laughs> another. He was on the winning team. And I'd say outside of Phoenix's hot tag, he was really the focal point and the star of the main event that really drove to their team winning the whole thing. Number <laughs> nine, hangman Adam Page. Whether he likes it or not, Hangman may be a tag team specialist. He got a win here, and he may win a lot of money in the future. He would have been ranked higher, but he gave up his edge by giving Hardy a chance to win all of his money would be completely off the table um, uh, if he didn't have the Dark Order as well come in and save him, uh, showing that maybe that alliance is still there, still strong. I'm going to be honest with you. Hangman Adam Page and the Dark Order are the Jim and Pam of this generation. <laughs> I want to see them together. I want to see it work. It's destined in the stars. Number 10. Let's go to number 10. FTR. These guys are just solid. They're strong. They're fast. They work together. They hit hard. 
They're not brothers, but they work together like they are. They can match anyone and everyone in the ring. Uh, they're looking like they might be going for more than just a win at Revolution. They might be going for some hair. 